guys, welcome back to Tati XO. This is another haul video, but this one's quite impromptu because I accidentally ended up walking um, into Zara and buying a few things when I was only supposed to be going out, soaking up the sun, having a wander around the city centre. So I thought, why don't I show you guys what I bought? I'll tell you how much each item cost as usual, and I'll try it on as well just so you can see what it looks like. Um, again, as usual, if you've got any comments or suggestions, please do get in touch. You've got a comment box down below, or just get in touch through any of my social media channels. I love hearing from you guys. I am new to this, so any advice, comments or suggestions is really appreciated. And it's just nice to know if, any, if you enjoy um, some of the content that I'm actually uploading as well. Um, so thank you for visiting my channel. I hope you enjoy it. Um, and stay tuned for the next video, which will be coming very soon. Okay, so let's show you what I bought that maybe I shouldn't have. We all do it. So I got this navy top. I'm not sure how it will fit, but it's got a really nice shape to it. It's got a V-line neck with two thin straps. It's like a peplum top and it also has this gorgeous finish with these beautiful buttons. Um, that you fasten up at the back. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that on my own, but hopefully I can. Um, and that's just really nice. For summary, I'll probably wear that with like some denim shorts or some white jeans, something like that. Maybe some wedges or some sandals. And um, the material feels really nice. Not too thin, not too thick, um, but it does feel very nice and summery. I do have quite a lack of summer clothes at the minute, so I guess that can be my excuse. I'm not too sure about the fitting of this one, it is very loose, so if you're not wearing a bra with this, which you can't really get away with because it's a cross back, just be very careful. This dress, it's like a grey, bluey colour. Um, it's a halter neck dress, um, and I bought this in a size extra small. It's got this beautiful sort of beady detail here at the top, and it's got the ruffles down below. It goes to about knee length. Um, this, um, I can see a sticker. It should have been thirty pounds, and I I got it for nineteen ninety nine. Um, and the reason I got it is that sometimes when I shop in the sale, they don't actually have my size, so I thought I was quite lucky. And it's something that I probably wouldn't usually buy, but I wanted to try it. Um, and it fastens uh, the back with these sort of two buttons as well. Um, so that could feel really quite nice, and the material feels lovely. Um, so we'll see how that goes. fan of blouses so I actually bought myself this lovely black and white polka dot blouse but it's actually a, um, a leotard so it's got this gorgeous feeling sort of seam free brief bottom with the usual three uh, buttons there in the centre. It's got a full down collar, a v-line neck and these beautiful quite long looking sleeves but they don't actually have buttons on, so they're almost a little bit flared. Not sure how it will fit, but the material feels lovely. Um, I got this in a size small, which is the smallest size I have. And I'll probably wear this with some like pointed black heels and like some white um, trousers or something like that. Um, it would just be really nice to go out in drinks for or something like that. I also took a bit of a risk because I bought some high-waisted trousers and I usually can't buy those unless they're actually 
supposed to be cropped but fit me on the length because they're shorter than usual whereas these aren't I'm not aware that Zara actually have a petite section so I saw them and I really liked them and I held them up to myself and it didn't go up to my neck like usual so they actually look like they would fit I'm really hoping that they do I couldn't try it on because the dressing room was just heaving so I thought I'd try it on at home um, but these are a blue and navy sort of square print on there. They're a size extra small. They only cost me like £12.99. The material feels really good quality. They zip up at the side as well. Um, the wide leg, and I thought I could probably wear that with sort of like a white top tucked in. You could wear it with a nice, lovely um, pair of wedges and a handbag. Um, and I really like um, the colour as well. I do quite like navy and black printed trousers. item I've got was a pair of shoes or a pair of high heels actually which are these ones here now if you can see these are actually quite a stretchy fabric material and um, with a lovely stiletto heel now they look like you would they would be quite difficult to walk in but um, I actually tried these on in the shop just when I found them um, to see which size I wanted whether it be a three or a four and they just feel like heaven. They weren't digging in, they felt really comfortable. It might be a different story when I'm actually walking about out in the streets with them, but they felt really nice. And it was a tough call between a size 3 and a size 4 because they both fit, but the size 3 felt a little bit tighter and it almost felt like it was easier to walk in because my ankles they are actually quite thin and they felt like they were a bit more supportive than the 3, so I went for the 3. Now it has actually come with some replacement stiletto ends, that's why I love Zara shoes um, because even if you've, you've worn these quite a lot, you don't have to bin it once it's worn down, you've got your replacement serve as well. So I do have a couple of pairs of shoes from Zara. Um, these should have been £70 and I only paid £29.99 and I thought I've, I've just got to get them. It's rare for me to find a pair of heels that are really comfortable. Um, and I know I only just walked about a bit in the shop wearing them but they just felt really nice and because it's got that covered front as well it just supports your ankle that little bit more if you've got skinny legs you almost need that to just support yourself as well um, so yeah you could wear that in the daytime with some white jeans you could wear it in the evening and you can't really go wrong with black they go, it goes with everything um, so, they look just gorgeous. I recommend getting some. They actually have it in a khaki colour as well, so you don't have to get black, they've got khaki. Um, but check out that Zara sale, they've got tons of stuff. I honestly, I could have spent a fortune. Um, so yeah. Okay, so these are the shoes. They feel so comfortable. My ankles are really skinny and they just feel really nice and supported. It's got a really stretchy material as well. My toes don't feel squashed. It, I just feel so supported, I can walk on my toes, they feel really nice, the stiletto doesn't feel too thin and like I said it's got a replacement with it so if you are doing a lot of walking then you've got those replacements as well. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Short and sweet. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Um, I really do um, hope that I can improve with the videos and content I'm putting out there. I keep saying this, but if you've got any suggestions, if any of you guys have your own channels or YouTube accounts, Instagram accounts, Pinterest, you know, any sort of comments or suggestions as a new starter would be really welcomed as well. Um, and you know just let me know if you've enjoyed it uh, I really enjoy making these videos and I really do hope that in the future I, I can get better and improve so thank you very much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day